my friends, keep the car, don't sell it, look after it, buy good stuff, good parts, and good service. Number one, always, always get original parts. It's more expensive, it's more expensive, but it's safety, and the long run is good for you. I was with the club a few years and I had uh, two Hiluxes and one Forerunner. Then I thought I need a bigger car, a stronger car, a better car. Then I saw this new 24 valve. I was saving money and then I finally bought this one. I'm very happy. Because uh, this car it came up in 95. It wasn't, when I bought my first car in 87, it wasn't the Land Cruiser. It was, I was a Hilux, Hilux, and then a Forerunner, yeah. and then they brought up the 80 series in, in the 90s, and yeah. then 95 they brought the multivalve, yeah. Something bigger and better, yeah, bigger and better, yeah. Okay. No, second hand, yeah. Because uh, Brian E was too much money, he was it was the first car with full, full, full extra electric, ABS, all the extra. It was very expensive back then. It was with the ABS, power mirrors and everything, yeah. It was only four years old, right. four and a half years. Even the back seat smelled like new, even the back seat almost new, yeah. Are oh, you mean since I bought a new? Yeah. I think it had... Uh, 50,000 on? 50,000 something. 50. Yeah. So you've done 205,000? Yeah. It's uh, more power, more comfortable, enjoyable. You can go up and down the hills around Australia. I did around Australia four times. Very happy, no big problems. Apart from tires and normal way, yeah. Very, very happy, yeah. It's a 4.2 uh, factory turbo diesel, but uh, since 95 they developed the multivalve. It's supposed to be stronger and better and good, good engine, yeah. It's very, very good, but, but I do my own service. I use a good quality oil and stuff and original Toyota parts. Not aftermarket, no Chinese, no other things. Come, come on, this, uh, you see? That was from 95 to 98. You see, it looks nice and clean. No, no rust, no nothing. Yeah, you see, like new, you know? 20, 25 years old, yeah. One more thing, tell him. I changed the timing belt on my own. I adjust the valves on my own. Yeah. So the valves you're talking about, where are they? Under here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I learned my own. I learned to fix everything. You take the turbo, the timing bell, everything. All the valves, it's six cylinder all the way to here. I take everything out. It takes me two days, but I know what I'm doing, and I put the original parts. You know, I don't trust the mechanics. Yeah. The chassis, the engine, original, originals. The only thing is the bull bar the tow bar and the roof racks and the tires and uh, custom made the steps. It's very solid, you know. Yes, yes, yes. And this one is called the mechanical pumps, the mechanical stuff before the electronics, you know. If you go through the river, through everything, it doesn't matter. I went to a dealer and I asked, and they told me, you have the best car, why you want to change it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to keep it, as long as it goes, I'm going to keep it, yeah, I'm not going to sell it, yeah. Uh, 
I did trips um, six weeks, two months, three months, up to four months around Australia. Not one problem. Only one flat tire for three and a half months, yeah. Uh, sometimes in um, Simpson Desert, which is 1,500 up and down, Sometimes the 100 series, the 200 series, they stuck and me flying up, no problem. There is a place called um, uh, Big Red. You, you know, I don't know if you know. It's a, it's a very steep hair. All right. When I went up, I jumped across the top two meters. Oh, well, I think the car is like anything else. If you, keep, if, if you look after it, could do good service. My last maybe half a million case or whatever, you know. My Hilux, it had one million case. Yeah. So I trust Toyota, yeah, so I don't want to get... Of course, you pay more money, it's more expensive, but the long run is good for you, you know.